Mitchters Toasted. Mictors. Mitchters? <laughs> Mictors Toasted Bourbon is back. First released in 2014, last released in 2018. Yeah, another toasted bourbon. But I will say Mictors was toasting their bourbon and rye before really everyone was doing it. Stay tuned to hear the details and see if it's worth the hunt on the mash and drum. What's up folks, I'm Jason C from The Mash and Drum. Today we're reviewing the return of Michter's US1 Toasted Barrel Bourbon. This debuted in 2014 with releases following up in 2015 and 2018. It's always been one of those releases that's been really hard to find and one of the most hunted of all the Michter's special editions. Uh, secondary value on this has been insane. And now even though Michter's is experiencing whiskey shortages, they decided to use some of their bourbon stocks for 2021 to release this toasted bourbon. Take a closer look, and while you're doing that, might as well hit the subscribe button and also like the video. Check it out. Mictors is well known for their toasted rye whiskey, but the toasted bourbon might be the most sought after because of its rarity. Now, to make this release, the distillery starts with fully matured barrels of its US1 small batch Kentucky straight bourbon and transfers the whiskey into a second barrel made of 18 month air dried wood for additional aging. The second barrel has been toasted to precise specifications, but not charred. Michter's master of maturation, Andrea Wilson, establishes the protocol for the toasting of the barrels and aging of Michter's US1 toasted barrel bourbon. She said this year's release is exceptionally balanced and is the perfect complement for the fall and holiday season. Michter's US1 toasted barrel finished bourbon is bottled at only 91.4 proof and is available now in very limited quantities for a suggested retail price of 100 bucks. I've already seen these 2021 editions going on secondary for about $450 to $500, which I think is just embarrassing. But you know, whatever. You want to pay it, go for it. Let's try it. Let's see if it's uh, worth the hunt and your time and your money. Here we go. So what I did before I did the review is I, I tried a pour of it already, uh, but it was the neck pour. So what I did is I poured some more out. Uh, let it sit in the glass, and I also, you know, left the cork open, let it get some air time. I think toasted bourbons generally need a little bit more air time, get those uh, sweet flavors coming out so it's not so tannic. But this didn't really have that issue. It's, it's extremely sweet on the nose up front. It's, it's toasted marshmallows on pancakes with maple syrup. That is all I smelled in the beginning. Also picked up some caramel apple, but the caramel on the outside of the apple has been a little bit burnt. I know all these, all these flavors are very specific, but I'm telling you, that's, that's just what it smells like to me. There's also, you know, there's that typical graham cracker note that you get with a nice toasted bourbon, but these are the honey graham crackers. You get like the graham crackers with a little bit of honey in the recipe as well. So you get a little honey, you get some graham cracker in there. But all that sweetness is over, it, it, there's, this, there's this overlying smoke to it. Nice little smoke char, almost like a burnt, like a burnt bread note. Like you left, you know, some bread and, you know, a little bit too much in the oven or even in the toaster. There's like this burnt bread note to it. Extremely sweet. Again, the, I mean, I left this thing out just, uh, when I was upstairs just, you know, hanging out and I left it out before I was, you know, I was kind of writing up my notes of what my tastes were. And um, my God, this thing was like a candle. It was like a friggin' uh, candle just sitting out. I, all these sweet flavors, I could smell it from literally, I don't know, it was about three or four feet away in front of me. Uh, I was just letting the glass sit out as I was taking my notes. And man, just, you could get the smoke, you could get the maple syrup, the sweet, the marshmallow, 
all coming out of this, this like bourbon candle. It was crazy. All right, really sweet nose. You can nose this thing all day. It'll probably change even more as it gets down the bottle. Might get a little sweeter. Might get some more smoke out of it. Not really sure. You never know with a toasted bourbon, but let's try it. So I think the proof might scare some people away because it is a lower proof. But you gotta remember, Michter's goes in the barrel a very, very low entry proof. So their stuff tends to be, you know, a little bit on the lighter side of a, of a you know, on, on the proof side anyway. But one thing Michter's has a weird way of doing is even though it's a lower proof, it does come off very creamy. And this is a very creamy bourbon, but Yeah, the first sip, the second sip even, it's still very, very sweet. The first sip's very sweet. Second sip, you start getting some of those fall flavors. I, I'm picking up some allspice, a little cinnamon on the back end. Again, that caramel apple note, but all the marshmallow, the honey, it's all there. It's definitely creamy, coats the palate. It doesn't have much of a finish at all. There is like a lingering, you know, spiciness to it, but it's, it's really not that spicy. Like if this was like salsa, it's like mild. <laughs> like you have, you have a little bit of spice on it, but there's, there's maybe a little bit, a tiny, tiny bit of burn if you're sensitive to it, but you're not gonna really feel too much here. Let's go for another sip. God, it's so marshmallow maple syrup. This is one of those, those instances, at least right now, where the nose is matching the palate. I love the allspice note, the caramel apple. Yeah, the graham cracker, all there. Again, I think my favorite part is a little bit of that allspice. It's just, it's really, really unique. Um, the one thing on the finish that I would probably give this a knock, and you know, I, I get this a lot with some toasted bourbons. It kind of drives you out on the back end. It's a little bit drying. Uh, but I mean, this this toast. Remember, this toasted barrel that they're finishing it is not charred. It's all toast. So you're just getting just really, really sweet flavors here. I'm gonna take another sip and then I'm gonna compare it to two others here. I want to compare it to the regular Michter's US One Bourbon just to see what those differences are like. Then we're gonna compare it to the Elijah Craig toasted. So let's see. Yeah, front of the palate. It gets lighter as you go, I think with that low proof, but it still stays creamy, it still stays uh, sweet. It's not the most complex, it's very straightforward. You're getting those, those really, really sweet flavors. I really feel like this takes the Michter's bourbon profile and those sweet characteristics and just amps it up. Uh, you can another like four or five notches, but let's test out that theory. All right, so let's do some fun comparisons here. We're gonna first compare it to the regular US one, bourbon from Michter's. Again, it's the same proof. You're looking at 91.4 uh, proof for this. Let's uh, compare them, see what the differences are. So the toasted, again, just so super sweet, candy, maple, all that good stuff. Wow, when you compare it to the bourbon, the bourbon's not even close. <laughs> The bourbon is more traditional caramel vanillas, some nice sweetness. Yeah, the toasted bourbon just kind of elevates all the sweetness layers, you know, that the Michter's US1 already has. Let's try the US1, the uh, regular bourbon. Yeah, the US1, you get a little bit more of the oak, a little bit of the, uh, the traditional like oak caramel vanilla balance, really easy sipper. I recommend the US one to a lot of people getting into bourbon. It does sip really well. Uh, really easy, easy to sip. Really nice traditional bourbon flavors in there. Compare it to the toasted. Yeah, the toasted takes this and just adds like a layer of like marshmallow, caramel apple, allspice. Yeah, the, the toasted bourbon is, is way more interesting from a flavor profile comparison. Now I really want to, test it up against the Elijah Craig toasted because Elijah Craig is a tiny bit higher in ABV. You're looking at only 94 proof, but, and this one, when it's available, you could find it for about 50 bucks rather than a hundred and really super allocated. <laughs> so let's uh, test it and see who wins out here. So the Elijah Craig on the nose. Now it took me a little while to like this Elijah Craig. I wasn't crazy about it in the beginning. 
as it got halfway down the bottle, it started opening up and getting right to the, to the right point where it had enough air time to get some of those sweeter flavors coming out. It had too much of this weird like tannic oak flavor I was picking up, at least me, you know, for me personally. But yeah, the marshmallows there, a little bit of graham crackers there too. A little bit of smoke, but I don't know. It's a different smoke that you're getting here in the in the Michters. The Michters overall, compared to both of these, even the Elijah Craig is just a lot sweeter. I mean, this is candy in a in a freaking glass. The Elijah Craig, you're getting more of the toast, oak char, um, you know, almost like a burnt graham cracker note on here, and some of the, um, you know, like I said, the the burnt like the caramelized sugars from the wood. All right, let's go for another sip. So the Elijah Craig is really great up front, but it still has that little bit of a weird bitter finish on the back end for me. Not getting that at all in the Michters. Yeah, the Michters is, I say out of all three, the Michters handily wins this, uh, wins this comparison. I mean, this is a great bourbon, but this, again, these toasted bourbons for me end up being mood pours. Um, this is generally very overly sweet for me, for my palate. This is something I would go to if I'm in the mood for it. Uh, I definitely would not pay, you know, that amount of money for it, but let's go to the final breakdown on the Michter's Toasted Bourbon. All right, all right, it is final breakdown time. Uh, MSRP on this, 100 bucks. Uh, secondary, as I mentioned, I'm already seeing these as high as 450 to 500, which is insane. Um, availability on this, like we just discussed in the beginning of the video, Michter's is going through, you know, a little bit of a whiskey shortage with so with bourbon being so popular these days and people sourcing. Michter's is still sourcing. It's tough to uh, to keep up, so it is extremely limited. So value on this at MSRP for $100. I think the value here is, I don't know, I, I, I want to say low, but I'll say even for this one just because, you know, toasted bourbons are pretty hot right now. Everyone's toasting everything under the sun. Um, and the price variance between that is, is kind of all over the place. You're looking at 91.4 proof, the value right at 100 bucks. It is probably one of the better ones I've had in a while. Considering I wasn't crazy about the 2018 version of this, I really like this one a lot better. At secondary value, uh, you know, for 450 to 500, that is terribly low. Uh, it's really not worth that much. It's a great sipper, nice, easy, probably one of the better toasted bourbons I've had recently, but definitely not worth that much. All right, so what's the most I pay for this? 100 bucks. I wouldn't, if I could find this at MSRP and get it, being that it's that rare and it is probably one of the better toasted experiences I've had, uh, I would pay 100 bucks for it, but I would not go higher than that. Is this a recommend? I would say yes, but only, only if you can get it at MSRP. If you could get it for a good price, buy it all day long, it's delicious, it's sweet. I love the flavors of this, but you know, for me, I don't know about you guys, but for me, this would still be a mood pour. I have to be in the mood to drink something this sweet. It's got a lot of great layers of, uh, of sweetness to it, and I feel like it'll change over time. I love the balance of sweet and smoke, a little bit of that allspice kick to it, really great bourbon. Do not, do not pay $450 to $500 for this bourbon, especially if you're planning on drinking it. It's very good, but there's really no finish to it. It's not, it's not complex. It doesn't have all these flavor, flavors that linger on, on and on. It's, it's kind of what you smell is what you get. You're going to get all those sweet flavors. It's what you're going to taste. Kind of a drying finish. So don't spend $450 to $500 on this. If you can find it at MSRP at $100, it's a delicious release from Michter's. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review for the brand new Michter's Toasted Barrel Bourbon. It's back for 2021. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit that like button if you haven't done already. Uh, if you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Let me know if you've hunted this one down yet or if you're trying to get your hands on this one. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share with. So cheers, and I'll see you next time right here on The Master Drum. Take care, everybody.